Hey, what's going on guys? Brian Frumps here with another quickie. That's what she said. <laughs> the office. You know, I just look at, sometimes I just look at the problems of this world and a lot of this stuff boils down to one thing, selfishness and narcissism and making sure that your family profits over everybody and you're setting your family up and I don't care who's the president or whoever but we're making these dynasties and we're shitting all over our fellow humans our fellow countrymen you know not for nothing but you know this is a planet people have a right within reason to go other places and try to make a better life as long as they're you know not criminals and I just kind of feel like well I answered my own question I said you know we should invest in these um, nations and countries but we don't we rip them down or we prop up who we want that will benefit us and we've got to we're not gonna stop but you know in order to have some kind of you know peace and prosperity I mean it's never gonna happen but we really need to start looking at humans and not races and not nationality and not you know nationalism and pride we need to start doing stuff that will like you know we have all these first world problems like you know when you wake up in the morning more than likely you can turn on you know your air conditioning or your light or you have water that comes out of a faucet and there's just some people that they still have to walk for their water you know and it's crazy to me that um, no country should have to worry about that stuff no country should have to worry about electricity no one should have to worry about water and um, just like here no one should have to worry you know about uh you know like these these um corporations like mcdonald's and 7-eleven they're making millions of dollars i'm not walking through all that smoke um they're making millions of dollars and they're not you know it will say career opportunities on the door of their building like a gas station will say you know career opportunities and i'm like fucking career for who you know what i mean like, let me see um, Donald Trump's kids fucking work here. Do you know what I mean? So, that's something that I just feel like, um, you know, we need to, you know, we need to be realistic. Like, when they say there's all these jobs that are created, well, yeah, anybody can make up numbers. What is a job to you? You know, something that pays under $15 an hour really isn't a job. Something that doesn't have any benefits. Where are all the pensions? Do you know what I mean? Like, we fucked up America big time, man. We don't make anything here anymore. You know? We let all these corporations go overseas. And it comes down to selfishness. And it comes down to not doing the right thing. And not doing right We've let these politicians do wrong by us for so long and it's crazy to even vote because it's all a rigged clown, you know, it's like a, one of those um, carnival games, you know, it's rigged. It looks like it isn't, but it is, you know, it's all bullshit. All of these people are fucking criminals, you know what I mean? And we've got people here that are working 60 hours a week and they don't see their kids. And, uh, you know, my thing is, I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat, I'm just a, I'm just a person. I don't wanna see people struggling that are doing the right thing, you know what I mean? I don't wanna see a parent working those kind of hours. Not everybody, um, you know, I, I could have went to college, kind of, but I knew it wasn't right for me. And that's another thing. I don't think people should have to mortgage their future. You know, you have to start out owing the mob all this money because they fronted money. I mean, that's basically what's going on. Like, we have to fucking 
we have to figure out something better and we have to I'll tell you um, there came a time in my life where money just stopped doing it for me and it was a hollow and it was like it's like sex it started to become a hollow empty pursuit when you're just doing it to do it or doing it for the chase or doing it to accumulate wealth and then you start not looking at people as people and you look at them like they're how can they serve you or what can you do to use them and not that I got to that point but I'm just saying it's crazy that when the fuck are we gonna wake up you know like when are we gonna wake up and say hey Trump Clinton Bernie Sanders whoever this shit isn't fucking acceptable anymore this shit is not acceptable for the world it's not acceptable for America this shouldn't be what America is. And I'll tell you, here's another thing that they're doing right now, okay, is they're making you fall in love with the drama because you're all a bunch of sixth graders and you're falling in love with the he said, she said, the Trump versus Pelosi, the, you know, the Ocasio-Cortez's of the world. All these selfish idiots, okay? Um, you know, like... We have to stand up and say, this system hasn't worked and it hasn't worked for years, okay? And enough's enough, you know? Enough's enough with NATO, enough's enough with always owing China money, or enough's enough with, like, why are we paying taxes when you can't even fucking tell us what happened to all the money? And everybody's forgotten about that shit, you know? What happened? To the United States you know well there shouldn't be a Federal Reserve you know there shouldn't be a shadow government hiding and taking money from you there shouldn't be you notice how all our money turned into like you know, you know your pennies used to be made out of copper now they look like video game tokens our quarters you know they look like you could bite them you know and paper's just paper and I really believe that I really believe they did that so when they do pull the rug out all the money is worthless already anyways you know there's no there's no there's no value to it um, so you know this whole this whole system you know is they're trying to get you caught up they're trying to they're trying to get you caught up in all the behind the scenes stuff but really what's going on right now is nothing nothing has happened since this guy's been president nothing you can't tell me one fucking thing this guy's done and I voted for him you know what I mean but I got played too we're all we would have got played anyways with Clinton you know I would have rather had Trump in there than her for sure you know we can't have the Clintons ever getting into office or power again. Um, but all these people aren't, they're not true patriots. They're not, they're telling you what you want to hear, okay? True patriots would do what's right for this country, okay? True patriots realize that we have to take a step back and we really make America great again. We need to rebuild from the mom and pop stores to what is our workforce you know we need to make America strong again we need to have unions you know we need to have you need to have a future you know you need to be able to have a future I mean no other nation no other nation has drugged its people in the history of the world like ours